you want to get a skin in Minecraft? And in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do that. First things first, you're going to need to download a skin or make your own skin. No matter which one you want to do, we've got something in the description down below to help you out. The first link down below is to here, the skin decks, where you can download thousands, if not millions, of different Minecraft skins that have been made by tons of different people around the world. You can search for them up here at the top. Or if you want to make your own skin, we have an in-depth guide on that as well, and you're actually going to be using the skin decks' skin creator to make a skin. You can see uh, I've been kind of messing around here just uh, with some of the tools, but you can do so much. You can even upload a skin and edit it to truly kind of customize it and make it your own. We're just going to be downloading one here though, and up here at the top, like I said, we can search. We're going to search for a knight skin. There's tons of different ones. I like uh, this one here. It, uh, to me, looks kind of medieval. I like the purple. Reminds me of Simple Game Hosting, which is actually the sponsor of this video and our company. Go to the first link in the description down below. The breakdown to XYZ slash SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends where you can easily play mods, add plugins, or install mod packs with just one click. There's even expert live chat support there to help you out. So go check out some game hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH. Nevertheless, to download your skin here, once you find one, click the gray download button on the right-hand side. When you do that, the download should begin. You will need to keep or save it as long as it's got dot PNG in the, the title here, it is good to download. If it doesn't, don't download it. Just click that gray download button again and the download will begin. Now at this point, we can minimize our browser. I've already got the Minecraft launcher open. If you don't, go ahead and open it. Now your skin file most likely went to your downloads folder. You can leave it there if you want, but I'm gonna move it to the desktop just for ease of use. Once this is on your desktop and the Minecraft launcher is open, go to the skins tab here. Then go ahead and click plus new. And when you do, you'll be able to name your skin. I'm gonna name this the night skin or the simple game hosting night skin because of that purple on the cape there. And then once we've done that, we can go ahead and select our player model. If you want the slim model, select that. If you want the wide model, select that. Then browse the skin file. Like I said, if it was in your downloads folder, you could go there and select it. For me, it's on the desktop here. And then you can select a cape if you have one. I think that the Twitch cape is going to go perfect with this. Yeah, I love this skin actually. Now you can click save and use in the bottom right and it will automatically activate. If you wanted to flip between skins, you can easily do that. Just hover over, for example, the Kai skin here. Click use and now you're using the Kai skin. If you want to use the Simul Game Hosting skin we added back there, boom, switch to it. It is good to go. If we wanted to switch to, you know, the one we used for the SGH shorts, there you go. If we wanted to switch to the one I used for the breakdown videos, there you go. So many different options. You can easily switch between them. But if we jump in game here, this skin will be active. As far as this skin file goes, technically you can delete it and it will stay in the Minecraft launcher. However, if you love this skin and you plan to use it for a long time, I'd recommend saving this skin file somewhere on your computer, in the desktop, in your documents folder, wherever you want to save this is fine. But I have lost skins before in the installer, so I would recommend having the raw file somewhere backed up just in case. But nevertheless, I'm going to delete it because I don't really care if I lose this night skin. If we go in game, we're of course going to go on a simple game hosting server here. And once we're in game here, we can go ahead and see our skin by pressing F5 on our keyboard. There we go. Pressing it a few times will move you around through the different camera angles. And like I said, if you wanted to switch your skin, you would just go back into the Minecraft launcher where you can go to skins and select your other skin. For example, I want to go back to the skin I always use here. There we go. And we can play and view that very quickly on our simple game hosting server by pressing F5. Five. There we go, back to the skin we all know and love. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. But if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible Minecraft content nearly every single day of the week. We'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.